Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil. Oh, big chance! And that is offside. Griezmann. Oh, fancy footwork. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside... Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So they get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? Danilo. A oh, potential danger. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Karim Benzema just needs to keep his composure. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Over it comes. And problem solved for now. And a throw in here for France. Coman. It's looking promising. Coman! High echelon goalkeeping there. And there's the delivery. High-class defending right on the goal line. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Griezmann. Pavard. And Mbappe in the centre. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. A corner will ensue. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the best clearance. This looks interesting. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Thiago Silva. Your players waiting in the middle. Oh, in with a chance! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Benzema finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. So, 2-0 now. Alexandro. And Brazil in a position of menace. Racing away here. Corner awarded. Let's see about the delivery. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. 
Well, Brazil's still behind here. And I'll tell you what, this game is very much a contest again. Who's to say what's going to happen next? Neymar. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Vinicius Junior. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. But timely defending when it mattered. Rafinha. Can he play it in? Oh, breezing past him. Griezmann. Take it away. Neymar. Could be. Crucial block from Varane. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Can he make it count? And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. An effective challenge. Benzema. Is with Vinicius Junior. Chance to attack using wit. And just one. And the referee has pointed to the spot. She's given the penalty. A huge opportunity to level matters here. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. And now to level the game. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. So the whistle then. We're up the half. And the ball rolling again. Brazil trailing after the first half. Can they find a response here in the second? Good move in the making from France. Kylian Mbappe. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Mbappe. Can't miss, surely. Really sound defending. And a time for cool heads. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. And slipped through by Karim Benzema. And effectively parried away by the keeper. And out of play for a throw in to France. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Vinicius Junior. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And a good looking ball. And still a chance corner to Brazil as they look to get back into this game and they are committed to making the substitution here who can they pick out breaking at pace do they have the guile to open up the defence it's there for him well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. And into the last 30 minutes now. Griezmann! And not cleared away properly. An 
Sarr a disappointing cross. Goal kick. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. So making the substitution now. Danilo. He's enjoying space. Might be onto something with that ball. This could level it. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Fred. On to Jesus. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Danilo. Now with Neymar. And reading it absolutely superbly. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And they could do damage. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Number 10, Kylian Mbappe. Neymar. Richarlison. An alert piece of defending. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Just not looking confident in possession. An incisive pass. He's just got to continue his run. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. and he's come up with it well let's just see this again what a pass this is from Neymar and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that you can't really say defences are on top 3-2 And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Vinicius Jr. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Ten minutes left for play. Benzema. Dembele on the ball. And he takes it away. And he could be in proper trouble here. Fred and teammates around him Vinicius now Rabio. well let's see what they have in store for them on the break will it be sufficiently imaginative oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story. A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, let's take another look. And there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? Current scoreline, 4-2. And threaded through by Mbappe. The attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. 
and support available Fred Neymar Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire and there it is all in the melting pot now and what a finale we could have in store for us Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Neymar's cross was always going to be threatening. And although he doesn't make the cleanest of contacts, he still gets enough on it to take it beyond the keeper. I think that's a very good goal. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament.